So many of you asked for this, I have to do it. Uh, it's the Christmas dinner items tier list, right? Now, I'm a fat bastard, okay? So I love everything within the Christmas dinner. So to prevent everything from just being top tier, what I've done is I've set a three per tier limit. So this is an absolute brutal teardown of the Christmas dinner. If an item isn't in here, that means that I've never had it with a Christmas dinner. So pigs and blankets, sorry, never had it with the Christmas dinner, so it's not in here. So this is my list. So starting here at the top, we've got turkey, absolutely central to a Christmas dinner. Some people don't like turkey because it's too dry. That's kind of your fault because you can't cook it. Don't blame that on the turkey. Turkey has to be in there. Then I've got stuffing. Stuffing is like a little dessert within in the Christmas dinner. I'm always like, oh, a little bit of stuffing there. And I'm always going back trying to get a little bit more for myself. Uh, but yeah, stuffing's got to be there. And then mashed potatoes. These are the three items, in my opinion, that carry the Christmas dinner the most. I know, shocking, the fat cunt likes his carbs. But yeah, that's what it's got to be for me. Now, it absolutely killed me not to put the ham in S tier. Now, to be honest with you, if I came into your house for Christmas dinner and the ham wasn't on the plate, I'd smash the plate in your fucking face and I'd walk out. Um, but at the same time, is it as essential as the turkey? No, it's not. Uh, Yorkshire puddings, no surprise there. I love them. More carbohydrates so I can get myself fatter. Absolutely love them. Gotta be in there. And uh, then also we've got mashed carrot and parsnips. This is going to be a bit of a contentious one. Some of you are going to say that it's better to roast your carrots and parsnips. You can see I've put them in detail. Um, to be honest with you, mashed carrots and parsnips, absolutely body roasted carrots and parsnips. You can, you can go to your counsellor about it because the facts aren't going to change. It is how it is. Starting off, be here contentious. I like a bit of pepper sauce in the Christmas dinner, like. Some people are going to say that's blasphemous, that's what I like. Feel how you're going to feel, like. Uh, then roasted potatoes, they're absolutely lovely. I want them on the plate, but they're no, they're no mash. And then Brussels sprouts, a lot of Brussels sprouts haters out there. I think they're fucking absolutely lovely, to be honest with you. And there's many ways to upgrade them. So starting off C tier here, we have duck or anything in that kind of category, a bird. Um, you really fancy yourself if you have duck with your Christmas dinner. You kind of think you're above everybody, but it is nice. Uh, then we've got cranberry sauce. I do feel a bit fancy when I have cranberry sauce, a bit ooh la la, a bit cosmopolitan. Look at me mixing flavor types. And I like to feel like that, but if it's not in the plate, I don't go mad. And then we have gravy. Um, gravy's great. Um, it's hard for me to get too excited about it. I couldn't really justify it putting any higher, but you need the gravy to wet everything up for yourself. And then, of course, we have the inferior carrots and parsnips. Uh, so, look, if you want me to rate your Christmas dinner, you can go on and send me a picture on my Instagram, and uh, I might rate a few people's Christmas dinners tomorrow if they want. And, uh, yeah, follow me. I'm delicious.